Uh, yes, so uh, at the uh, Netherlands Cancer Institute, I am I'm mainly involved in uh, supporting the advanced microscopy techniques that we have uh, in the lab of Kees Jarlink. Um, so there, there's a lot of people who are doing many, many projects uh, in cancer research. So I myself uh, am now involved in, for instance, in uh, a project where we uh, where we try to develop a very fast uh, single image frequency domain flim uh, technique. Uh, this is um, yeah, we use a special camera that records two different phases at the same time, and then we can we can uh, uh, we can get a, a lifetime image in one single exposure, and in that way we can. Uh, we can measure with 20 frames per second. We can measure uh, lifetimes, so this is very nice and uh, very technical, uh, a technical thing. So, uh, but we have also other uh, other things. Uh, we so the lab of Kees Janik is is uh, historically mostly um, involved in uh, in invadopodia research. So invadopodia are actin-rich uh, parts of the cell that uh, structures of the in the in cell cancer cells that. Um, the cell uses to degrade extracellular matrix, and um, uh, they use it uh, for, uh, yeah, to, to in, in, in metastasis. Mm -hmm. so, so, so there's many other things. I yeah. How I will your results help to develop new drugs or fight against cancer? Um, well, um, for instance, we, we are looking at, uh, well, basically being in the cancer research, uh, institute, cancer research institute, many, uh, actually all research is, is aimed towards understanding, better understanding of cancer. And um, uh, yeah, I, I, I myself am, like I said, I'm involved in uh, supporting uh, many of these uh, research projects. Um, so we also have a lot of uh, super resolution uh, uh, imaging we look at clustering of, of receptors which are which is important in, in cancer for instance um, I am also uh, supporting the uh, high content screening um, and in there we do uh, uh, screens for uh, well SI uh, RNA screens and compound screens which which are really directly um, yeah then you really look at okay which which compounds do cause cancer cells to die more more efficiently and, uh, Do super resolution microscopy or CLAM help you to pursue new research approaches? Uh, yes, yes, very much. Uh, so we use super resolution on a on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, especially, we have two PhD students that are uh, continuously involved in in all kinds of uh, super resolution projects. Uh, li like I said, uh, one of them is uh, receptor uh, clustering. We look at uh, actin dynamics or actin. Structure. Uh, we look at structure of uh, hemidesmosomes, which are adhesive structures, special adhesive structures in the in the cell. Um, so in, in all of these things are would be impossible to to uh, to look at with the conventional uh, techniques. And now with the super resolution, we can get much better details and and really uh, pursue the questions that yeah some some questions that, uh, that I I wouldn't say that. Every question uh, can be answered by uh, super resolution, by far not. But um, certain type of, of questions, definitely uh, yes. And also, we, well, we, being in an institute um, where we we are the only ones having the, the super resolution pro, uh, GSD uh, setup, there's a lot of people within the institute coming towards us uh, with questions that we can solve then with uh, using the super resolution. What do you think of the new Lightsheet module for the SP8 platform? The Lightsheet module, yes, I think it's a fantastic idea. It's a uh, very clever. It's a it's a nice example of, of thinking out of the box, where uh, yeah, classically of course uh, you have a setup like this, and now uh, you can just retrofit it on a on a confocal. And I think it's brilliant. Um, that said, it's it it's still. Uh, well, it depends on the application. So we would be interested in sphering, uh, screening spheroids, for instance. And uh, I've just been at a workshop where um, it looks like... So you can get very nice images of these spheroids, but if, if the sample is really dense, then it becomes more and more difficult to, to penetrate and to, because of the scattering of the, uh, of the light, becomes 
yeah, your image quality goes down. So this is something that, uh, yeah, that needs to be worked on at some point. But of course. How do you rate the options to upgrade the Leica TCS SP8 control goal with different modules? Yeah, that I also find a very, very good idea. I think not only from the, the perspective of the of the research, researcher, but also from the manufacturer. I think it's uh, it's easier. Um, but uh, yeah, so so uh, I, I think indeed, uh, like uh, like was mentioned this morning, it is it is great if you if you can buy a, a relatively s with a small budget, you buy a relatively s uh, standard microscope setup, and then if you need a special technique. You upgrade it, and uh, for a relatively small price. So the drawback, I think, uh, is that if you want a machine that can do everything, so y you can have that. But um, if so, for instance, with the light sheet, you want to follow f for many days, or also f in live cell microscopy, we want to follow for many days uh, the same sample. So this means that the microscope is occupied for many days. So in that sense, sometimes it's better to buy an extra microscope um, than an, an upgrade. So what are your general experiences with Leica Microsystems as a collaboration partner? So Leica, we, we, we work a lot with Leica, especially, uh, uh, well, historically on, on the confocal part. So we are beta testing lab for uh, the confocals and uh, also since uh, two years for the GSD. And I, I must say that we have great uh, contacts and uh, the lines are very direct, direct communication. So this, this works uh, quite well. Um, also, sometimes it's a little bit, um, uh, yeah, how would I say it? Uh, uh, sometimes it's a bit annoying that you think of something and you try to push some technology and then people say, okay, we, we are working on it and then they are not allowed to say any anymore. <laughs> so this is sometimes a bit, uh, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. But uh, in general, they're very good. Yes. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you very much.